they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear on the. All right. Hey everyone, my name is Enrique. Thank you so much for tuning in to Talk of the Town. And today we got a very special guest on the show. Split Vabby. <laughs> yes, sir. The one and only. Hey, Sarsky. All right, so we're going to start it off with a little game of rapid fire questions, just a little something to break the ice. So the first one is Which rapper would you not let date your daughter? Trey Songs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, who is uh, your celebrity crush? Uh, Violet Myers. Okay. Who's that? Come on, bro. You don't know Violet Myers? Yeah. Yeah, I do. You know who that is. Absolutely. That's a corn star right there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't, I don't know if I'm that deep down the rabbit hole, actually. <laughs> I got to get in tune, though. It's not a rabbit hole. It's an iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> what is, um, uh, in your opinion, the worst song ever? Damn, I ain't going to lie. Worst song ever. That's really a good question. Um, my heart is beating. I don't know what song. I like a lot of songs. I don't okay. listen to bad songs. All right, no. You know what? I'm going to skip that. that question respectfully. No, you good. I don't know. No, it's good because the next one is actually, well, what is the best song? Oh, the best song? Yeah. Oh, Jessica, act bad. <laughs> How do you pronounce it? Jessica? Yeah, Jessica. Okay, because yeah, this whole time I've been saying Jessica. Yeah, you could say Jessica too, yeah. but I just recently changed it. I put act bad on it, so now you could just say act bad. Okay, all right, but that's some good shorthand. Who is uh, your favorite artist outside of hip-hop? Outside of hip-hop? Uh, damn. I guess you could say like, like Home Shake. Okay. I like home shake. Yeah? Yeah, I like putting that on when I'm cleaning and shit. <laughs> it's like some, like, indie, lo-fi, white people music sort of, I guess. Like the yeah, everybody's got their little pockets, you know? I, I like some Mac DeMarco, so I'm into right, that indie. Right, right. And said, hey, there you go. It's yeah. indie. That's what I was trying with. That's the genre called indie. Home yeah, shake, like they got indie. some nice stuff. What um, uh, What's the best thing about Bushwick? CM CM Coffee Shop. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I ain't gonna lie, cause I, every time me and A go there to eat in the morning after the stool, mm -hmm. it just feels like like we're in a movie. Like it, like it feel like love in there. Feel me? Like yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I just I fuck with my people out there. So it's, it's a little uh, breakfast spot in Bushwick. Oh, word. Feel me? Yeah, you can sit there. They only open from like six to like one or something. Only breakfast. Fire though. Feel me? So. I that's yeah. that's the best thing about Bushwick right now is that. It's that spot. Shout out CM Coffee Shop. Facts. What uh? What is your favorite app on your phone? Instagram. Okay. Very common answer, but honestly, me too. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I don't be on nothing else really much. Instagram. What is uh? What's the last thing you spent money on? Um, a cab to get the shorties here and a bottle of Espelon. Hey, shout out Espelon. Facts. What is uh? What is your hardest bar? Damn, a hey, what's that? Damn, I don't know. Damn, I'm gonna just say any bar at this point. <laughs> uh, fucking um, just say act bad, act up. <laughs> I was gonna say, what is it? Get tipsy, act bad. He said, act bad, <laughs> act up. I'm feeling tipsy. Act there bad, we go. Act up. <laughs> what is uh? What's the last song you listened to? Oh, uh, oh, I think it was the um the shit we just made uh, the night a uh, spliff happy thirty minutes. Okay. So, I mean, it was a file that we just made. All right, but that counts. <laughs> yeah. What is um uh okay so what is a song you know every word to but it can't be one of yours? Oh, Telly Zelly T. What's who's that? Telly Zelly, she's the girl that got suck my dick tatted on her eyebrow above right here. Oh shit, no. I, yeah, she tattoo. she has a song out there called T. And I did, I, I did sing that, bro. I could sing that song <laughs> word for word, bro. I don't <laughs> care, bro. Niggas think it's mo. That shit is fire. <laughs> feel me? You give up on my love. Like that, so you know. I'm still stuck on long ago. Nah, she body that, so. Nah, you gotta that's send me song. that, bro. It actually yeah, sounds yeah, like it's got a group in, to it. Yeah, tap in, tap Zelly. She nuts, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's the queen of Bushwick, real shit. Feel me? Okay. I'm gonna do it better than her. What is a, what is a conspiracy that you think is real? I don't even be looking at conspiracies like oh, that, word? really. I be trying to stay away because I be scared. <laughs> I don't even want to know about it, <laughs> nah, really. You can't let them know you know too much. 
I ain't gonna lie. That's how true it is, boy. <laughs> nah. Next question, bro. Next no. question. Uh, favorite music video of yours? Uh, Wick. Split Happy Wick. That shit still to this day is crazy. <laughs> Fucking having um, like 250 plus Latinos out with the flags out, the low riders in Bushwick at the Tony's Pizzeria, um, at the train station on Knickerbocker Avenue. For me, just showing like the people that at the end of the day, I'm getting love in my own towns and I'm getting love from the right people. Like it's not like on some. I'm trying to sit there and portray like what this nigga did. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. I'm out there with my people. Feel me the right yeah. way. Like we turning up. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't yeah. need all that extra shit. Feel <laughs> me? And split is for everyone, but it's just to that video proved my point. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It's the best video ever out. No one shot a better video in Bushwick since Wick. You feel me? Facts. Gangster. No one did that, bro. I put that on my back. You feel me? Bro. Yeah, I think that. One, one thing I really like about you is that you take, like, any opportunity you can to, like, really put your hood on. But as well as, like, you know, your people, you know? Fabulous, I really fuck with that, bro. That's why I named the song Wick. For me, I could have named it I Don't Like You, you know me? but I named it Wick because it was, like, I'm going to shoot this in Bushwick. I'm going to shoot it at the spots people know about. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show them, like, look, I'm going to bring the West the West Coast. So I should culture over here with the low riders and, and showing them, like, this is over here, too. For me, it's not yeah. just over there. There's people out here that have low riders. There's people that have trucks out here that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The low, I had a uh, chinelos and shit, different things like that, you know? Yeah. Just showing the, the East Coast, like, yo, look, it's here. Yeah, some real unity shit. Real shit. Nice. All right, so that wraps up rapid fire questions. So uh, let's get into it. So, Spliff, how did, um, um, how, did, how did your musical journey start? In the crib. Okay. Off a laptop on a laptop with Ableton and a USB mic uh, in 2018 for my first song out, and uh, that's how it started, really. Did you did you produce a lot of your own stuff initially? Nah, nah, I mean, I, I punched myself in, you feel me? I recorded myself, but got a lot of my beats from YouTube and shit, mm -hmm. I mean. So one thing I've noticed is that you're, and you've mentioned this a lot in your interviews too, that you're, you really, you've grown a lot as an artist, and that's why like you keep your stuff up to see that. And I was skimming through some stuff earlier, and like I think your earliest Spotify release is crazy because it sounds nothing like Jessica <laughs> nah, <laughs> at nothing. all. Nah. So what is um, um, what's it been like, you know, being on that on that journey and evolving your sound, like pretty much like almost every time you drop? I want to say it's been a, uh, it's been a uh, like how Aja said outside uphill battle since the beginning, just every day kind of um deciding if I'm gonna really take this thing serious or not. Mm -hmm. And just going through mad flows, bro, like mad different little tones, mad different little flows, trying to figure out where what's me, what what's my sound. So you know it's it's tough, but for every artist out there, just know it's every day it's a constant battle, but mm -hmm. you don't get nothing worth living if you don't fight for it. You feel me? Every yeah. day and put your soul into this shit. So I'm here because of that, you know? Just put my soul, put work mad hard, you feel me? Yeah. My earliest song, that hard loose song that you talked about in the beginning of the question, that song sounds nothing like what I'm putting out now because at that time, it was a different energy that I was at, a different state of mind. I just got broken up with my shorty, mm. you feel me? So I put my pain into the music and it was, it was just a song, bro. And now that shit is at like, what, 100 and, 25,000 plays on Spotify, and it's a four-year-old song, and that shit get 1,000 plays a day. Wow. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, that shit crazy as fuck to me, but it just goes to show that's that's just the power of you putting actually genuine, you know? Yeah, and like really putting your like your heart into it, honestly, Pretty because much. like, yeah, even though it is one of your, if not your oldest song that's like publicly available on there, it still hits. <laughs> Facts to this day. Yeah, bro, you really like, it's crazy because like the like the melody you were writing on that, really good so like i'm kind of surprised that like that you don't really do that too much now but you're also like in your pocket with like the the whole edm slash rap slash like house rap type shit i'm like, glad you i'm glad you said edm house like yeah because it starts with that it's more of an edm jersey sound it's not a dark jersey s dot b it's not a fucking a band man real type b mc no it's a spliff happy x a turn me up type b like it's an edm rave you know what I'm saying? Loud, hype, fast music. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I don't have to diss in that shit to make that shit hot. That shit just sound hot. I be spitting, you heard? Mm -hmm. 
How um, uh, what made you want to step into that territory? Because like you gradually got into it more and more as your releases went on, but I feel like mm. now you're like really like deep entrenched into it. Yeah, OD. Because I feel like now I see where I want to go. I mean, in the beginning, it was still experimenting. My first year of just making music was still just experimenting. Like I ran into the Jersey Club shit because I was always on YouTube. Mm. I met A through just booking a studio. From oh, wow. there, it was like I right, clicked up. Made the Jersey Club shit, and I was like, you know, going up and down, uh, and then now we like, I right. came back. We looking, ma he's making beats now. Back then he wasn't making beats, okay. so now he making the beats. Now we can actually sit there, go through sounds, this, ah, uh, uh, be on, and make some, make something that's in our own pocket, mm. and that's exactly what we are doing. Okay, so how did Jessica come about? <laughs> what was the creative process like behind that track? <laughs> that took a shot every time we say Jessica. Oh, word? Okay. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> Yo, Gangsta, most genuine shit ever. Mm -hmm. um, it was B-Jack's birthday party. I met Jess, feel me? She was drinking honey. I was standing on the couch. I asked for a shot. She poured it in my mouth, pause. <laughs> I was like, fuck it, it's a free shot. I couldn't, I couldn't complain. She just did it. I'm like, I'm not about to, I never met this girl day in my life, so I just let it happen because I needed that shot. God mm. knows I needed that shot. We got lit, end of the night, exchange information. It was a great night, by the way, all in between that great night. Just vibed out, clicked, like we just instantly was just, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Saw her again the next night. Um, same shit, mad lit, uh uh. Me and A, was in the crib in the sanctuary, mm -hmm. and I'm like, act bad, act up. I'm like, yo, just kept saying that shit all night. I want to put that shit on the song. She kept saying, act bad, act bad, act bad. Mm -hmm. So I literally was like, yo, I want to put that on the song. Next morning, right? Like after all the party days and shit, I go to the studio. He sit down, he make a little song, make the next beat. He's like, yo, I got this sample on my head. I, I heard in the club. He pulls it up, it's the push me. Yeah. Loads it up, cuts the beat in an hour. I hop on it, start over, with act bad, act up. We start the chorus out, then we do the verse. It was, rest was history from there, all because of me meeting her mm -hmm. and just riding that energy of like just, like just being like so like non caring, just like really being this, this, <laughs> this ball of energy that just infectious to everybody, like even to me. Yeah. For me, so. I named it after her that, that that when we finished the song, I said, yo, this is song I'm gonna call it Jessica. Feel me? And then uh, yeah, that's how Jessica was made, just from her, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I think um uh it's crazy because when I first listened to it, I was surprised by like by the sample because it's such like a commonly known sample, you know, like I think I've heard it at mad, mad DJ sets, and I had never heard anybody spin it like that, you know? <laughs> So I um, thought that was really interesting. Shout out A, turn me up. What do you think the, uh, well, what has the reception been like, you know? H hella good, bro, I ain't gonna lie. The moment we put it out, mad love, feel me? Cause at the end of the day, it's a fun ass song. Like it starts off saying, act bad, act up. Like it's just like a, one of those songs you put on when like you getting drunk. One of those songs you just put on, you want, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's like, I don't know, it feels so good. And then the way this nigga made the beat and mixed it and just made it sound just like this. It feels like one of those songs that's already on Billboard. You feel mm -hmm. me? So the reception has been really good and it's only going to keep getting higher because as I keep pushing myself and growing myself, that song grows and you know what I'm saying? Everything else just follows who's behind it, you know? Yeah, no, most definitely. I feel like the song is really infectious, you know? And that, like, I feel like that speaks so much to the, that, like, EDM sample that you guys use. Because, like, it's such a, such an accessible genre, you know? So many people from so many different walks of life really, like, unite under EDM. So I feel like that was the perfect sample to use to really, like, make your song more accessible as well. Facts, bro. Watch. In a year from now, wherever, just know that me and A going to be at this crazy European EDM festival and one DJ is going to be like, yo, I'm going to bring you out, Spliff Happy, pull up. 80,000, we going, even if it's just Jessica and Yachty that we perform, crazy, because those samples are crazy and the way we came on them, mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah, what um, uh, well, we're on the topic of songs. What do you think is like, what a, like your most underrated song or one that doesn't get enough love? Yeah, you're right, it's spicy. Spicy? Yeah, that song... 
That's why me and A wanted to pour almond milk on show these buds, but we <laughs> couldn't do it. We were scared. We was young at the time. Yeah. It was a it was a vibe though. We were supposed to shoot that shit on Murder Avenue, Broadway, right in front of the uh, checkers and Popeyes. Just cause a scene, but yeah, most underrated song was spicy, man, by Split Vibe. It's my, it's my <laughs> shit. Um, something that I feel like I've noticed about you from your music and also just like watching your other interviews is that like you've got a lot of motivation. Like I was watching, I was watching your On the Radar interview, and I was hearing the story of how you put together. Um, I think it was the Audi music video. Yeah. And I feel like you're one of those people who like if you have your mind set to it, it's like you can fucking move a mountain. Like, how do you? How did you end up developing that, or did you like always have it? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. The most simple answer I could put for that is, I always think about my mom and my pops, mm. and what they sacrificed to get me here. My mother crossed the border. My father drank his own piss and vomit. Feel me? Had to come out here, learn English, get a job. Same shit with my mom. And just any time I felt like. I couldn't do something, I just thought about them. And as corny as that sounds, like, that's really just what gave me that motivation to make anything happen. I'm like, there's no, there's no, you're not telling me I can't make it happen right now. They, mm -hmm. like, I'm not about to sit there and cross a border for a whole month walking, all this extra shit. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't yeah. go through that. They just did that for me to be here. And, I, and I'm about to sit here and tell myself, I can't do something. Are you dumb? I can't do it. Never that. I could do it. You feel me? Yeah. That's why I said, Mix, I can't so you know that I can. You feel me? I could do it. You feel me? Yeah, man. That's that motivation. You feel me? If you don't got parents for that, then you find your own motivation. It's life always throwing you shit to put fuel to your fire. So figure it out. Find it out. You feel me? Put some fire in your body, nigga. Move. Get to it. Yeah. Make it happen when you got nothing there because you always got something there. Mm -hmm. Yo, honestly, thank you for sharing that because like that's that's real. I feel like not a lot of people have, especially like if they're not in the Latino community, like they don't really know those kinds of stories, you know, like Facts. the shit that people really go through just to come here to America, you know, to have that chance for their offspring and even for themselves. So now nah, thank you for sharing that, bro. That's real. No, no cap. And like, honestly, yeah, contextually, it makes so much sense, you know, like them sacrificing all of that and you having what feels like this like burning fire under you, you know, like shit, once you know your why, it's like, especially if you like feel so strongly about it. Oh, D, bro. You people can't understand. do shit. I talk about that shit and that shit make me shake because I was, I still feel like I'm not, you know what I'm saying? But I know at the end of the day, I got to stay calm, keep working, keep my pace. Don't, you know what I'm saying? It's not a, it's not a race. It's a marathon, you feel me? So just walk, feel me? If you got to take a breather, take a breather, feel me? Mm -hmm. It's not a race. You don't got to be first place all the time, feel me? No, that's a fact. I feel like a lot of people get so caught up in social media and that whole aspect of like keeping up with the Joneses, you know? And right. like, it's, it's, you know, social media is, it's like a highlight reel, if you will, you know? Cause like not everybody is gonna go ahead and air out their dirty laundry or show you how they're really feeling, you know? It's like, it's what people want to see. And because that's like so much of what it is, I feel like a lot of people kind of just get lost in that, you know? OD bro. OD, OD. Yeah man, um, what's it called? So, you found this pocket, this like EDM rap pocket. How do you plan on expanding more of that going forward? Hmm. Tough question, good question, <laughs> tough question. Thank you, I bro. mean, it's just rolling out the songs we got. The, we, me and Abe been cooking up on, every day, but any chance we get, we cooking up. So, hmm. to expand it, really just put it out and then Oh yeah, like I tell this nigga that time, the mixtape. Once we put the mixtape out too, it's like coining it, you know what I'm saying? I texted William Foster, the guy that broke Beyonce, the song with Hurry. Mm -hmm. I texted him, I told him, I said, yo, look, this gonna be the new shit. I'm telling you, I, I said it when I came with Jersey Club in the beginning, yo, this Jersey Club gonna be in fact, year later, boom. Same shit with this, this rave Jersey EDM sound. 100% drill rappers are gonna try to get on that, feel me? They gonna hear it from me, and if they don't hear it from me, they hear it from someone else because it all starts with producers, then artists. Bro, there's already producers trying to do what me and A doing, bro. Mm -hmm. Real shit. They trying to call it fucking whatever they, but it's, what it is is more like EDM Rave Jersey Club. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, I feel like that's such a, a really smart pocket for you guys to get into because right now, like, Jersey Club is exploding, as it should, you know? It's like, it's a nice, vibey, bouncy sound, and it's really easy to get into it, you know? Yeah. But I feel like a lot of dudes, especially when they're using it for, like, that drill basis, kind of just doesn't, like, hit the same way, you know? Like, it gets yeah. tiresome really quickly. <clears throat> yeah, they don't do it. They don't do it the way we do it, I'm saying. What I'm, uh, so do you, you plan on, like, keeping on that Jersey Club route? Or like at least like variations of it as you go forward. Yeah. If it don't, if it's not broke, don't fix it. You know what I mean? Heard that. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, to me and him, like, we fuck with it. So mm -hmm. four months, five months. I mean, who knows? I might throw in a Spanish shit there. Who knows? Mm. Anything, anything happen. You know what I'm saying? What me and A do is not like, oh yeah, like no, but we create. So at the end of the day, whatever we create, we feel like okay, boom, we gonna put this out. We gonna put this out. I mean, it's like. Yeah, we're gonna make mass rooms. Yeah. But it's the way we present them. It's the way we sell them, how we, how we put them out. Yeah, that execution. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, what's it called? So, you have a mixtape that you're, you're working <coughs> on currently? Yeah. Okay. Mi mixtape working on, um, executive produced by A Turn Me Up. Feel me? I'm right there in the scene with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm always there. Um, that should be coming out soon, right? Hey? Coming out very soon. Okay. So just by the time this interview come out, just give it a few. That mixtape <laughs> basically done already. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a lot of a lot of behind the scenes shit we want to make sure we get right. So. No, I feel that. Let me guess out. Are there any like upcoming futures? Yeah. Yeah. Cash go bean. I'm oh, gonna just shit. start saying it now because it's my heart. I ain't gonna lie. Feel me. Shout out Cash. Tap me on the club while we was at Gabe P's birthday party. Yo. I want to hop on this. <laughs> All right, say that. Don't play with me. I'm going to send you the open. Send that. DM the yo, what's your math? Sent it two hours later. Yo, first song I ever sent this man. I'm And I've known Cash for like a whole year, but I told him too. I was like, I was just never the man to overstep. Mm. Feel me? I was never the artist to be like, yeah, because we knew each other. Yo, I'm with Cash. With yo, bro, I don't do that. Mm. I pull up, yo, what's good? Uh uh, feel me, chill. Smoke a blunt or some shit. We in a session. Yeah. I go back down, I do my own thing. Feel me, and I keep it like that. For my long, never, yo, bro, we gotta get something. In it. Nah, none of that. None of that, you heard? Mm -hmm. Feel me, when the time was right, the time was right. Yo, I wanna hop on that. That's all he had to say. That shit gonna hit. Nah, good shit, bro. I know, like, a lot of people, um, there's other people who, like, take their opportunities when they see it, but I know there's also people who, like, wait until the time is right, you know? Because that's the thing you want to do is like overstep or jump a shot and then brick, you know what I mean? I mean, look, man, I play ball too, so I, I know where to take my shots and when not to take my shots. Sometimes you got to just play the backside, play the wing, feel me? And if they pass you the ball, they pass you the ball. Mm. When you get that ball, make sure you make that shit. So next time, pass it to you again. Mm. Mm -hmm. so oh, everybody fiending to get the ball and shit. Yo, no, bro, you not even, like, relax. Let, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Chill. Everybody gonna get minutes. Everybody gonna get, you know what I'm saying? Everybody yeah. gonna get a touch. Just chill, bro. Keep working. Keep training. Next pickup game, you gonna get it. If not, the next one, just keep training. Mm. So when you do get that, you prepared. You've been taking your shots already. Just like what I did. I've been taking my shots already. By the time I got that cast feature, I was ready for that. Feel me? Head up. Mm. Mexican shooter. Yeah, and then it's like you you might not have been ready, for, so it's like now it's like that timing is perfect, right? Devon Thomas, shout out Kirk Knight. Mm. That's what my brother told me, Devon Thomas, bro. Love Real shit. Cop. What I'm uh, how about this? Let's play another game. Uh, this is called the last game. Uh, so it's just like the last time you did X Y Z. Oh fire. So what's the last movie you watched? Uh, damn, you know I just be putting on movies, suits. Yeah, there's not a movie, but nah, okay. nah. What's the last movie I watched? That has, fuck. You got good questions, man. You making me feel like I need to go fucking chuck my brain. <laughs> Thank you. Bro. I don't know. Skip the question, bro. I'm not no even gonna skip it. Skip it. Last song you listened to that wasn't yours? Uh, uh, uh. Damn. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so my story, right? Uh, my son, um, Slum Valley. My son, real Slum, Slum Valley. He got called Balmain Paris. Mm. 
Okay. Fire, bro. I bet. Shout Mex- out Mexican kid from uh, West Coast. Okay. Over there in Texas, if I'm not mistaken. Feel me? Pardon, bro. But I just tapped in with him on some, like, really listen. I'm like, damn. Okay. This kid's fire. I'm definitely going to tap in. Yeah. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, what's the last thing you ate? <sighs> oh, excuse me. What was it? What was it? Um, uh, my mom made some, like, she made, like, Mexican, Chinese rice. Sure. Her version of it. And then Mugi Salo. Oh, Yogi Salo. Nice. Con papas. Some beef stew sounds mad good. Fire. Uh, who is the last person you texted? Um, dreams. Mm. Last concert you went to? Um, I just went to one. What was it? Um, where did we just go? Hey, we went to Publix, didn't we? It wasn't a concert, though. I guess the last concert could be it. Matthew. Matthew Ali. Okay. His, his concert. Matthew Ali. Uh, what was the, the last time you recorded a song? Last night. Okay. <laughs> 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 when is the uh, what's the last album you listened to in full? Uh, J Cole Soundline Story. Okay. Best Ooh. album. Damn, that's time. a throwback. Right. That is a throwback. I got a, I got a song with a sample from from the Soundline Story and the interlude. I love that shit. If y'all ever get a chance, listen to that. I, that pushes me too a lot to keep going. Damn, shout out J. Cole. Facts. Let me what is, uh, when's the last time you smoked? Uh, like 30 minutes ago, my heart, <laughs> Like This is literally right downstairs. I was like, I'm not going up there without smoking first. I'm like... Nah, I felt that. So I smoked like, yeah, like 30 <laughs> minutes ago. And last one is, when's the last time your opinion changed? Uh, literally like 30 minutes ago. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, real shit. I was downstairs in the car. I'm like, yo, hey... I'm like, yeah, this sounds goofy. This song good. I just need a mix. Like, you know I mean? <laughs> Yesterday, I was like, fuck this shit. This, shit, this, this nigga fucked my shit up. So. <laughs> I hate him. Like, nah. nah I just... <laughs> I'm weak. Nah, it's not funny. Um, okay, yeah, that's the, that's the last of the last game. So we talked a little bit about the, uh, the mixtape that you guys have coming. Um, what else do we have to look forward to towards the end of the year? Any uh, split happy features coming up? That you're aware of anyway? Bro, any slip happy feet. I was, what if I like about 15? Like, I ain't gonna Jeez. lie. Because I did, um, I was selling features and shit, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. For like 100 bucks, made some money. It's a deal. Yeah, made money, good deal. So about like 12, 12, 13. They're gonna put it out. I know they don't, bro. don't mind them for me. At the end of the day, you're gonna see a bunch of those come out. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But anything else from anybody else? No, I don't think so. Wait, we talk. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trapped. <laughs> we'll run that back real quick. <laughs> B-Jax. B-Jax. Oh, we we had B-Jax on the show recently. I yeah, interviewed him, and B- he was telling me you guys got some shit in the. Yeah, I'm bugging out. I'm so lost, bro. Because he actually immediately when he said features, I'm thinking about damn, all them other shits. I'm like, damn, <laughs> shit's about to be. <laughs> nah, you good, bro. Shout out B-Jax. But yeah, B-Jax, we got like a basically like a fake little tape already. Oh, okay. Funny. That's my guy. I love the chemistry there. Like, um, <laughs> both long hair, both fucking <laughs> just like crazy wild. So, do you guys have like a song out now together or no? You mm, don't, right? Nah, not one. Okay. Now that's some dynamic duo type shit over there. I can see happening. That'd be pretty lit. It's gonna be crazy though. He, he's on a lot of songs that I got coming up though for sure. So everybody Lord. just be on the lookout for that. Most definitely. Me? All right, but um, Spliff, thank you so much. We appreciate you for coming by. Why don't you uh, tell the people where they could find you? And Bushwick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now nah, you got me there. Nah, uh, I'm fucking <laughs> with you. I, nah, but nah, gangster though, you can find me in Bushwick for real. For real. I be walking down Nickabaka, Wilson, Central, all the time. Mm-hmm. Feel me? I get love there, but you can find me on Instagram too, Spliff Happy, Twitter, Spliff Happy, one word. All of the, anything you look up, just look up Spliff Happy. So no one got that name. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, Apple Music, all that shit. I bet. Am What's I missing it? something? Hold on. Hey, am I missing something? Nah, bro. Nah, I got to check in with A for me. A executive <laughs> producer. That's my guy right there. All right, Spliff, once again, thank you so much. We appreciate you, man. Thank you, brother. No cap. Appreciate you. And that was solid. There we go. I don't want to feel left out. My bad. I always got to give it the little. Uh, Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. And we'll see you next time.